Once upon a time, the Jade Emperor had ten disobedient sons. One day, the boys transformed themselves into ten hot and bright suns in the sky and heartlessly scorched the earth. The Jade Emperor became very angry with his children and decided to teach them a lesson. He then summoned his best marksman, Ho Yi. Ho Yi was the Lord Archer and had a beautiful wife named Chang Er, who was the goddess of the moon. Ho Yi descended on the earth on the Jade Emperor's command. Everything on the earth was shard and lifeless, and people were in agony. Unable to bear their suffering, Ho Yi knocked the arrow on the bow and aimed at the sons one by one. He deftly shot nine of the ten sons and let only one of them remain in the sky to give warmth and life to the people of the earth. When the news of his nine dead children reached the Jade Emperor's ears, instead of being proud of his immortal marksman, he was rather up in the arms and severely punished Ho Yi by banishing him and his beautiful wife Chang Er to the earth after stripping them off their immortality. The couple was forced to live a miserable life on the earth until Ho Yi recalled that the immortal Queen Mother of the West who lived on the earth had a rare supply of the elixir of immortality. The hopeful archer left on the arduous journey to seek her aid. After countless difficulties, Ho Yi finally reached her palace on the sacred Mount Kunlun. The queen patiently heard Ho Yi's tale. She grew merciful of the archer and the wife's plight and decided to give him the elixir. But then, before Ho Yi departed, the queen gave him a warning. She said to him that if one drinks half the elixir, it will grant the drinker everlasting life. However, if one drinks the entire elixir, then it will make him ascend to the heaven as an immortal. Ho Yi on his journey had already decided that he and his wife would both drink half the elixir to lead a happy life. When he returned home, Chang Er's happiness knew no bounds and on learning that her husband was successful in bringing home the elixir, she could not contain her excitement. And while Ho Yi was resting, after an exhausting journey, Shang Er could not resist and took a peek at the elixir that he had brought home. In her eagerness to become immortal, she was tempted to drink the entire elixir herself. Just as she drank it, as the queen had warned Ho Yi, Chang Er's limbs became weightless and she began to float in the sky. As she was banished by the Jade Emperor from the heaven, Chang Er had nowhere else to go but the moon, where she spent a lonely, desolate life without her husband Ho Yi, who was condemned to live on the earth for the rest of his day just as a common man.